Hey guys, what's going on? Druzy here back again with another video and today we are focusing on 4S Monkey gameplay at level 6. That's right, yours truly got 4S Monkey to legit max level 6. Now some of you have been able to try this out when the cards were boosted and 4S Monkey was boosted a number of weeks ago uh, in a card based event. And I wasn't able to do that because I didn't have a level 6 card to try it out. But now that I have him... He is now in the staple of my main deck. If you guys have watched me in my live streams, this has been my main deck for quite a while now, as far as what I think is the strongest deck of the cards that I currently have. Working to get Enforcer Jimmy to level 6, he's going to be the next card I'm focusing on right now in this deck specifically. But 4S Monkey has been extremely undervalued, I think, in as, as a level 6 card. I think he provides a lot of value. That explosion damage, the fact that it hits 4 enemies at 176 damage, is can be a decent amount of damage, can stop a swarm, can stop multiple units coming at you, which you'll notice in some of this gameplay of him actually doing his explosion and taking out multiple units. It's been very weird to actually see how effective it can be, and just that I undervalued this card for so long, as did many of us, and maybe this will change your mind on 4S Monkey itself, that if you can get it to this level, Level, which will probably take many of you quite a while to do you can see just how strong it could be for you if you're able to get it to this level so uh, i have definitely changed my thought process on this card i think he is much more uh stronger than i really i uh, honestly thought initially i mean i've always been kind of working towards this i've mostly used him as a troll card and he still kind of is to some degree but i think he's definitely got some potential definitely got some value and he is in the team versus team uh possibility as a card this week so hopefully I can get my team to rally around and use 4S Monkey, and this video will prove his strength and power that we all need in our lives. So, hopefully you enjoy this video. Hope you have enjoyed the continued content here. A lot of Phone Destroyer content has been coming out on the channel. A lot of growth on the channel. A lot of new subscribers, which has been fantastic. It's been really awesome to see that. I greatly appreciate you guys joining into the channel, supporting me. If you guys want to become a member as well, support that way. There are multiple tiers, and the information for membership is down below in the video description. You're not pressured to doing so, but any support is greatly appreciated by me and helps make better quality content down the road and hopefully continuing here in the near future. But thank you guys so much for watching, and hopefully you enjoy all these matches. Right? Or play adventure cards. Something like that. But when you're telling us, it's like, okay, you have to kill three Indians in PvP, or you need to kill fighter units. In PvP, at least with fighter units, there are a lot of good fighter units. Most people have two to three fighter units in a deck. But when you're saying you have a specific type of character that you have to play, the unholy cards was one of the worst. Like you are so the le like the number of unholy characters is so minimal. I think it's only like three or four of them, and then you're forcing and praying that other people are playing them. That's ridiculous. Like why did Red Links make it that way? I get that the whole focus of this PvE was to grind the game again. That's fine. I don't have a problem with grinding it, but make it grindable and not ridiculous. That was the problem I had. You made the grind ridiculous. All right, 4S, go. Check out this 4S monkey back door, man. Watch this explosion. I'm getting a blister. Yeah, I'm just gonna kill him. I don't want to deal with his little rats and all that other crap. Oh yeah, trying to kill Canadians? I bet that took long too. I'm sure that one was also ridiculous. Alright, hook hand Clyde. Oh, hit Bay! Oh, should have hit Bay Bay. What are you doing? Oh, you made that easy. Blast! 
horse monkey back door. Four ass monkey back door. There you go, four ass monkey. That's two bars. Game. There we go. Check out this trick. Bradley's Mintberry Crunch. I'm aware of that. Jersey, they need to add more achievements that's never been updated. That's 100% true. They, they haven't added any. And then if you had Pope on top of that, you had all three of the most expensive cards. It'd have been ridiculous. But yes, Andy, you do get all... You get one of each of the cards guaranteed from the PvE. Which is fantastic, by the way. It's fantastic. That was a great job by Red Lynx to do that. Some of the some of the tasks, however, were questionable. Were questionable. That's all I'm gonna say about that. This is value, but I don't know if I want to do this. Oh yeah, I'm so glad I waited. See what see what happens for waiting. See what happens for waiting. Wait, did you just see four? Ass, did four ass monkey just cancel Choir Boy Butters? Did you guys see that? Did four ass monkey just cancel Choir Boy? I can watch this again. He did. He one hit Choir Boy Butters. Holy crap! Dude, get you some 4S monkey. Level 6 4S monkey, dude. Cancel level, level 4. Was that level 4? I don't care. Cancel, cancel Choir Boy Butters one hit. That's pro strats. Okay, Ink and Craig is not going to take that bar. Oh, actually, he is. Okay. Gonna fool me. They required you to play 4 tanks of PvP. Maybe. It's probably true, Ice. I mean, I'm giving it the benefit of the doubt. I'm just saying the deck was weird. I'm not saying it was their, like, they ingeniously thought this was the greatest deck of all I hope they weren't ingeniously thinking this was the greatest deck of all time. But it was a weird deck. That's all I'm saying. It was a bizarre deck. I also feel bad because Chem is a thousand elo lower than me. But yet PvP matchmaking is still, you know, fine in this game. It matches me with them, so I feel bad. When, you, when am I going to play the Super Dank deck? <laughs> Video coming soon, Boss Clips. Video coming out tomorrow with, with the Super Dank deck. What would be a Super Dank deck have besides Tally? I don't know. That's a great question. You guys can figure out what a Super Dank deck would be. And I'll make it. Right, Duca23? I'll make it. I also feel like your name is... Your name is obviously based on your new kid level. So when Duca gets to 24, probably tomorrow. Yeah, especially with this. He's obviously getting to level 24 tomorrow. When he gets to level 24 tomorrow, he will change his name to Duca24. It's happening. I'm just gonna kill that. Oh! Okay. You just you just take out my 4S monkey like it's no big deal. Oh, and then of course you have a level 4. Like 8 level 4, you know. You don't have a level 4 Stom. The wasting of the Witch Doctor token. Come on, Duga, where's your pro stats? Where's your pro strats there, man? Yeah, that was just stupid. You deserve every single little bit of that. I mean, I'm not saying I'm winning this game, but you deserve every little stupid bit of that. Put Tally out front. Pope versus Makatimi. Who wins? Seriously, dude, I will sacrifice 4S Monkey. <laughs> I will sacrifice 4S Monkey to take out your Inuit Kenny, dude. All day long. Come on. 
All day, every day, man. Have you awakened? What are you doing, Mike? What are you doing, power binding again, Doug? What are you doing, power binding again? Where's your Where's your ink and Craig at? He's coming down. Where's he at? I'm gonna take the bar down. That's okay. Come on, Hook. Do this for me, Hook. Of course you don't, Hook. It's fine, Hook. Thanks. Your tryhard mystical adventure deck's not gonna beat me. But thanks, though, Duca. Thanks. It's a very strong love hate relationship that I have with Hook and Glide. It's mostly hate. There's just a bit of love there, though. It's, there, there's just a smidge of love. But it's mostly hate, though. Right? It's mostly hate, though. Right, Viva Montequila? Come on, Hook. You can do this! Failing again! This is what I'm talking about. This is that love-hate relationship. We're back. We're back to love-hate. Back on that love-hate. Ooh, I bet that hits my- I bet that hits my bad hunter, Kyle! Ooh! Shit talking did not work against me that time. Alright, alright, alright. Bevo, are you just using my deck? Kind of. Not really. But kind of. A mildly stronger version of my deck. Okay, well it's a little bit different, obviously, because you're you're running a level 5 dog too. Oh, watch this 4-ass monkey just dominate. Watch 4-ass monkey just dominate, dude. Watch him just chip everyone down. Get you some 4-ass monkey? 4S Monkey MVP! He just took that bar! What? <laughs> what? Oh my god. 4S Monkey, dude. He just killed three cards and took the bar. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, dude. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. There are no words. Okay. Let's use my level five. I guess I have to use my level five. Okay, you're gonna lightning bolt me. That's cool. I don't care. Huh. Mecha Timmy, you in the face? Oh, it's gonna hit my Mecha Timmy though. Here it comes. Ooh, no, it hit Osimo. I don't know which is worse. Not sure yet. Get some hook and Clyde damage. There we go. Let's beam all this down. What's your level 7 smuggler egg? They got one hit by 4S monkey. Ooh, you can't stop this. Are you gonna stop him again? Just freeze him in place. There you go, dude. I don't care. I don't care what anyone says to 4S monkey MVP of this match. Yeah. Unbelievable, dude. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. Forest Monkey just clutched the everything crap out of that match. 
hundred percent. I don't care. I don't care. I'm having a firm discussion about this. That is ridiculous. You you are not. I don't give a shit if you have any challenge. Unacceptable. I am a supreme that is king. unacceptable. Take flight. You do not get to pull that crap. You do not get to pull that crap in our clan. Not on my watch. I'm not accepting. I'm not accepting that kind of behavior. It's unacceptable. Okay, Forest Monkey, just go kill something. I'm very upset right now. I'm very upset with you, Charlie. You come in here and explain yourself. Pulling that kind of shenanigans. That is not the Nambla way. We do not play crab duggies. Zero excuse. Decision, man. Dude, you leave my 4S monkey alone. He's going in, and he's taking you down. 110%, man. I'm so mad at Charlie right now, dude. The unacceptable behavior. God. I need a beer. <laughs> Should just sacrifice <laughs> just How is he still alive? How is the alien drone still alive right now? Okay, I'm still attacking the new kid, dude. That's game over. Seriously? I'll just cycle back to Aerostorm, or... I mean, I'll just keep cycling back, dude. Maybe Hook and Clyde will get it for me. Or Forest Monkey will just MVP it again. <laughs> Forest Monkey will MVP it again. I was already there, and then I was able to kill it. Dude, Blaze, I haven't even seen the movie, and I know that he's dead. I haven't even seen the movie. He missed an unholy combustion. He missed a lot of things. Why? I'll just bring him down to, like, two health. Pro place. Force Monkey, get another hit. Dude, so good. The one that said he was bad is just ignorant. He wasted all your energy. Good game, man. <laughs> he literally just wasted all your energy, man. Come on. Sharing that man. There's another card. I know you got one. Okay, fine. Well, let's go that way. I don't care. Sand 
Twitch, what? Oh. <laughs> Roman, what's up, man? Look at this. I can't play anything. Dude, forest monkey, go. You kill my you kill my forest monkey, which kills all your units. Come on, dude. Look at this. Even if I don't kill him. <laughs> Poor ass monkey, dude. Game's over, man. Okay. George, it's okay, man. It's okay, you tried. It's alright. You tried. <laughs>